Hello, welcome back. In this video, we will use JS on response to create an endpoint. After, we will use JavaScript to get information from the endpoint, and we will use the data to build a web page. I created a virtual environment for this tutorial. I installed Django version 3.1. I started a project store. I created an app shorts. In Visual Studio, we can see the folders of the project. I will run the server to check if the project was installed successfully. We get the landing page of the Django. Everything is OK. In settings.py, we will add the app shirts to installed apps. In view.py, we will create an endpoint. We need to import JS on response. I will call the view product. I will create a dictionary that have information about shirt. I will create a model for shirts later. Now I just want to show you how JS on response works. We will return JS on response that took as argument a dictionary. We have to create a new URL for this view in urls.py. We will import views from shirts and we will add a path to URL patterns. I will call the URL product. In the browser, we will see if product view works. Our endpoints or API works. Now we will see how to get this information and how to use it to build a web page. In views.py, we will create a new view home. This time we will use render so we can use a template to write HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code. Inside the folder shirts, we will create a new folder template. Inside the folder template, we will create an HTML file home. Inside HTML file, we will use the element h1 to write a title shirt store. We will use style to put the title in the middle of the page. In urls.py, we will create a path for the view home. Before using JavaScript, we will check if the URL works. The URL works. Now we will use JavaScript to get this information. In HTML file, we will create a new div. We will give it an ID shirt. Now we will start to use JavaScript. We will create a variable for the div shirt so we can change its contents with JavaScript. We will use Ajax to get data from the endpoint. We will create a new object XML HTTP request. We'll create a const for the URL of the endpoint. We will use the method open to initialize a request. It took two arguments, the method get, post, put, or delete. In this case, we will use get. The second argument is the URL to send the request to. Before that, we have to Define the response type. JS on is the type of the data contained in the response. After we will use the method onload, 
equal the function to be executed when the request completes successfully. We will save the response in a variable product. Finally, we will use the method send that sends the request to the server. We'll use inspect to check if we are getting the data. We can see that we get the data from the endpoint. The data is an object, so we can use the keys to get uh, the values. For example, product dot the key brand give the value idas. We will add this information to the div shirts. We will add an h4 element to the div shirts to show to the user the brand of the shirt and its price. I will transform the IJAX script to a function. This is the end of this part. Next time we will see how to serialize a model.